The village of Ehrwald lies on the Austrian side of Zugspitze. Early in the morning, one Saturday in June, a few men from Ehrwald, among them Christian Schenach, set off on a special mission. For them, the ropeway makes an unscheduled stop at the second pylon. The first time it was quite bad. The doors open and then a ramp is put across. <laughs> and you climb down. You have to hold on well, otherwise you could fall. Thankfully that has never happened. From the pylon, it's another 200 meters to the team's destination, a stony plain just below the Zugspitze. Christian Schenach and his colleagues cultivate an old Alpine tradition. Every year, on the longest days of the summer, mountain fires are lit that appear as fiery images to people watching from the valley. Which pictures will be lit this year remains a secret. Not even the wives of the mountain firelighters know. It's secret. No one knows what it will be. Not even we know what the other groups are doing. Otherwise it wouldn't be a surprise. You always wonder what they will turn out as. Christian's father Arnold, head of the group and fire chief, uses Ehrwald church spire as orientation, so the images won't look warped to the spectators in the valley. The work will be over 300 meters long and consist of more than 600 small fires. The men work according to a plan true to scale. The flags mark the corner points, where later 600 flammable sacks will be placed. <laughs> the sacks are filled with sawdust and environmentally friendly rapeseed oil. A 10 centimeter discrepancy would already distort the image. While they work, they must tread carefully. First of all, you have to watch your own step and then you have to look out for your colleagues below, that you don't send big stones hurtling down. So you've got to take your time and work slowly. It takes hours for all the sacks to lie in the right place. In a hut 30 minutes away, the men wait for darkness to fall. Sitting together here is an important part of the yearly ritual. <laughs> 9 p.m. It will soon be time. Before it is lit, you get a bit nervous. Everything should be in the right place. You've given 100% and it's so amazing when it then works. <laughs> The rapeseed oil only burns for half an hour. The firelighters have to be quick, so that the whole picture is visible from the valley. A fireman 
Dan's hat and hose to mark the anniversary of the local fire brigade will alight the valley for about an hour, along with the images of the other groups. My father has been doing this for about 40 years, and I will too, as long as I can physically manage it.